Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for March 16th, 2020. So today we have Emerald Compassion. We do have St. Patrick's Day coming up and I'm actually <laughs> sitting here looking it up. It's on the 17th, right? Yeah, 17th. Every year I get mixed up on St. Patrick's Day. I'm like, is it the 16th or the 17th? It's tomorrow. Anyway, here's your green, okay? You get some green in case we don't pull a green card <laughs> for tomorrow. So compassion, you guys. Remember how I said there's a story? Remember how I said like people getting really weird with their, I don't know what's going on. I don't have all the answers. But there's an illness going on and it doesn't have to do with that word we cannot say because YouTube is uh, silencing all of us. There's a bigger sickness going on. I wanted to tell this story, but I might make a separate video. I'm not sure. But um, when I was living in New York City, this isn't exactly the same thing. But I remember when, I think it was Hurricane Sandy. It was either Irene or Sandy, but I'm pretty sure it was Sandy. It was getting ready to hit New York City. I went to the grocery store to get some water. And the shelves were bare. And when I walked in, actually, I was telling somebody in a personal reading the story too. <laughs> if you're watching, sorry, it's a repeat. Um, but when I walked into this grocery store, the cashiers, even though they were busy, looked up and smiled and said hello and asked if I needed anything. Now, you have to understand who these people were. You know, these, this was not their normal thing. I mean, they were definitely ones that acted as if, like, you know, they were doing you a gift by ringing up your groceries and... You know, they didn't have the best attitudes in there at all. They were quite rude, actually. And because this thing was coming that everybody was a little nervous about, um, you know, they, they changed their demeanor. So I go to the water aisle, and there's lots of people in the water aisle, and I see that the water is pretty much gone. And this guy walks up, and he has this really thick Queens accent. This is in Regal Park. You guys would know the grocery store. I don't know if it's still there, but... It was at the corner of uh, Woodhaven and 63rd Drive in Regal Park. Um, anyway, he had this very thick Queens accent. And he's like, here, sweetheart, did you need some water? You can take some out of my cart. I'll be okay. You go ahead. You get you some water. And I looked at him and I was like, wow, thank you so much. Hey, no problem. We get outside and people are actually taking a minute to stand on the sidewalk and talk to one another. Now, I had some ding-batty neighbors, make no mistake, who went out and played in, in, in Hurricane Sandy. They went out and played. Yeah, story at 11 on that one. But <laughs> I had some other neighbors, and we were checking on one another. I'm heading out. Do you have everything you need? Now, that's something I got to hand it to New Yorkers. I mean, daily, you know, you can run into a lot of neurotic people. You can run into competitive people. They, you know... You know, not to generalize, but New Yorkers can get very hung up on their work and that's their priority and all that stuff. But when push comes to shove, we were all family and there was no getting around that. And the world has seen evidence of that with other events. And so I remember that time now that we're going through all of this and I'm seeing a lot of people backsliding. And I would call that the major illness. And maybe that is even, I'm getting back to compassion here in a second. Maybe that is what all of this is about. And maybe this is what we are supposed to be looking at. Why are we trying to take from one another instead of being there for one another? This is our chance at connection. And yet we see each other as a danger. People are freaking out on airplanes because someone has allergies. This emerald is the heart chakra, number one. And compassion has to do with stop seeing fellow human beings as the enemy. Stop going out of your way. Not that you guys are doing this, but I'm just saying, like, you know, there are people out there I would love if they stumble upon this video. Stop, you know, trying to tell people how to live. Stop judging one another. This is hard. I find myself judging. Why the heck are you being mean? Why the heck are you taking from another when you have enough? We need to tap into that compassion. This needs to be born of whatever is happening now. Now is the time to be family. Because we all are family. Like it or don't. What you see in another is also in you. If you hear of somebody being argumentative, or even violent, God forbid. You know, you always have that capability too. No, I wouldn't. Yeah, you would. 
If you were threatened, you would. If your children were threatened, you would. If you're just having a bad day and someone crosses you, you're going to start running your mouth, <laughs> okay? You're going to start throwing some words. Make no mistake. Well, we're stressed. Too bad. Fix it. Well, it's not that easy. Too bad. Fix it. Now, the people who... Here we are. Let's switch gears. So the people who are watching this, again, a lot of you are empaths. And so I'm not really talking to you because <laughs> you already know what the compassion is. I'm mostly talking to the people that these videos, I, I hope to reach them as well. Um, the people who have forgotten themselves. I'm talking like the soul self. They've forgotten that part of them. They've gotten so um, hung up in the details of a third dimensional ego consciousness reality that they have denied their souls. And so they're running on fumes of fear. And those fumes of fear can turn into pure evil. Is that person evil? I don't know. But they left room for it. And if we can catch those people before they completely give up. And completely give in. To any kind of shadow or darkness. And start running off of that. Because remember they're contributing to the higher consciousness as well. And that's a problem for all of us. If they happen to see this, they're going to make fun of it. They're going to fight me. They're going to argue, you know, the combative ones. But maybe something got through. <laughs> maybe just a little bit got through. You know, I was driving down the road. The, when was this? A few days ago, I guess. And uh, there was this guy who rolled down his window and threw trash out of his window. And I'll be honest with you. Did I turn around and go pick it up? I didn't. Number one, because it was in the middle of a road and people were going like, you know, I don't even know, like 45 miles an hour. It's not safe for me to get there and pick it up. But also, I was stunned. I was stunned. Now, okay, we're going from like the example of like people being on the fumes of fear and that potentially turning into evil. Uh, and I'm not saying that this guy is pure evil for doing that, but what the what? Where's your brain, sir? Excuse me. Yeah, a little activation needed here. I don't, I, what happened to you? Okay, where, where are you? Like, you need to come on back online with yourself, right? I mean, why would you do such a thing? Okay, like that's just, that's a minor example of what I'm talking about here. People are losing themselves. They are panicking. They are, but here's the thing. How about y'all comment down below? When you panic, don't you want to connect with people? I know I do. I want to see what other people are going through. I want to know like, hey, can we all band together and pull together as a community? Um, because this seems like this is kind of rough. Where is the separation? What's going on? Tap into your heart and see if you have an answer. And if you do, leave it down below. All right? Compassion. Heal your heart. Let's get at it, empaths. I love y'all so much. <laughs> so this is a long video. We're going to leave it there. I'm sending you so much love and take care. Bye-bye.